Hi. Now, when you're solving linear inequalities, what you've got to make sure is that you observe a few important rules. Otherwise, you're liable to get them wrong. Um, to demonstrate this, what I've done is just draw a number line up here, going from minus 6 to 6. And a couple of statements here, which are true. 2 is less than 6, and 4 is greater than minus 2. Now what I'm going to do is divide, for instance, both sides of these inequalities by 2. And we'll see what happens. If I divide 2 and 6 by 2, I'm going to get 1 and 3. And if I divide 4 and minus 2 by the 2, I'm going to get 2 and minus 1. And how does 1 compare with 3? Well, 1 is clearly less than 3. And when I look at 2 and minus 1, 2 is more than minus 1. So dividing by 2 seems to just keep the inequality signs the same way. But what happens if I divide by a negative number? Let's say we divide by minus 2. If I divide both 2 and 6 by negative 2, what I get is 2 divided by negative 2 is minus 1, and 6 divided by negative 2 is minus 3. And when I compare minus 1 with minus 3, you can see that minus 1 is more than minus 3. So the inequality that I'd have to use is the more than or greater than symbol. And you can see that what's happened is that the inequality has been reversed when I've divided by negative 2. Let's see what happens in this particular example here when I compare 4 with minus 2 and divide both sides by negative 2. 4 divided by negative 2 is minus 2. And minus 2 divided by minus 2 is going to be 1. And when I compare minus 2 with 1, minus 2 with 1, we can see that it's less than. So I need to put the less than inequality in. And you can see that, again, this has been reversed. So what does this suggest? Well, does it suggest that if I divide by a negative number, that the inequality has to be reversed? Well, you could try this out with other negative numbers, and you'd see that it is the case. When dividing by a negative number, always reverse the inequality for your statement to be true. All right, let's see what happens if I now do multiplication instead of division. Let's repeat the process again. Let's suppose we multiply by a positive number. Let's say we multiply by, say, 2 again. OK, what do we get? 2 and 6 multiplied by 2 gives 4 and 12. So we've got 4 and 12. And 4 compared with 12, well, 4 is less than 12. No change in the inequality. Is this going to be the case with this example here? Times both sides by 2. 4 twos are 8. And minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. 8 when compared with minus 4. 8 is greater than minus 4. So no problem there. No change in the sign. What happens then if I multiply by a negative number? Let's say we multiply by negative 2. Multiply both sides here by negative 2, and we get minus 4 and minus 12. Aha! Minus 4 when compared with minus 12. Minus 4 is here, minus 12 way down here. That means minus 4 is greater than minus 12. The sign has had to be reversed again. And if I try this one, multiplying both sides here by negative 2, we get negative 8 and Minus 2 with minus 2 here is 4. And again, I now notice that minus 8 is much smaller than 4. So that would be less than. So the sign has had to be reversed when we multiply by a negative number. So it seems to suggest that when we divide or multiply by a negative number, we must always reverse the sign. And again, I'll leave this with you just to try multiplying these pairs of 
numbers here by any negative number and you should see that you have to reverse the sign for that statement to be true. We've looked at division and multiplication so what happens if we do addition? Let's suppose we look at adding say 3 to both sides. Okay. What happens to the inequality? Well if we add 3 to both sides here we're going to get 2 add 3 which is 5 and 6 add 3 which is 9 and 5 is less than 9 so no change there and with this one adding 3 to both sides we have 4 and 3 is 7 and minus 2 and 3 is 1 and 7 is more than 1 so again no change and if you experiment by adding numbers to both sides you'll find that the inequalities do not have to change we're only left now to do subtraction so what happens if we were to say subtract say 5 from both sides what happens now 2 take away 5 is minus 3 and 6 take away 5 is 1 and minus 3 compared with 1 is less than so that's true okay no change in the inequality there and finally if we subtract 5 from both these two numbers 4 subtract 5 is negative 1 and minus 2 subtract 5 is minus 7 and minus 1 when compared with minus 7 minus 1 would be clearly a lot more than minus 7 so we'll put greater than no change in the inequality and if you were to carry out further experiments like this, you'd find that subtracting any number from both sides of your inequality doesn't affect the sign. So all you have to remember to solve linear inequalities is that if you divide by a negative number or multiply by any negative number, always reverse the sign from the original ones. Okay? And then you shouldn't go wrong. Well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial and hopefully with these rules you'll now be able to solve linear inequalities.